The Associate in Applied Science degree in Medical Laboratory Technology will prepare you for a career as a medical laboratory technician. The medical laboratory technology profession is a part of the clinical laboratory science profession. This is the two-year Associate of Applied Science degree. The person who graduates from an MLT program will have the necessary uh, beginning skills in pipetting, in uh, running basic automation, problem solving skills, uh, basic math skills, and um, problem solving skills to, to troubleshoot instruments that are, that are down, um, operating computerized equipment, and uh, learning how to, they will be able to draw blood. So phlebotomy is a part of this profession. It gives them the basics. It gives them an, the step, the foot in the door that they need so that I can bring them in here and train them the way I want them. They will have job entry level skills that will enable them to walk into a job and begin working. Um, they will have problem solving skills and the technical skills to operate sophisticated computerized equipment uh, to run the tests on patients and they will also have the ability to interpret quality control so that they know the results they're turning out on the patients are correct. I decided to enroll in this program. I took the CNA class while I was in high school and I decided that I didn't actually like to have that much contact with the patient and I really like science. This gives me a chance to learn more about that and I really like what I'm doing in class. I job shot at the VA and I liked it a lot. I liked the um, the actual hands-on work with it, uh, the actual pipetting and performing the test yourself. And if you're going to, if this is a good program to get started out into, if you're going to go on to become a PA or something, because you have the exposure to all the tests, and it's a it's a good way to get started in the medical field if you're going to continue. Well, they put the theoretical background to the position, and um, which really helped you know, in the end when you actually start running analyzers and that, you gotta know why you're doing what you're doing in order to understand the results you get. You're gonna have to have somebody who is on time, is dependable, is gonna be there, and knows how to work with other people and do their job. I expect them to have a basic knowledge of how to run the test, of, of what to look for when resulting a test. I do expect them to show up, be available, work hard, understand that, they'll be able, that they are going to be asked to work hard. Entry level occupations would include basically working in the hospital or in area clinics, bench tech opportunities. Some may want to go into veterinarian offices and work, uh, draw blood on animals and uh, you know work with uh, testing on animals. Upon graduation, students are eligible to sit for the um, certification exam in the clinical laboratory science field. There are a lot of job openings. Uh, many of our professional journals list all the openings across the United States. In our area, if you look at the regional newspapers, there will be listings for MLT or MT. With baby boomers retiring within the next three to five years, there's going to be a severe shortage. Um, healthcare opportunities are just wonderful. The tech shortage from everything I read in the journals is about 40% across the nation. We're an elderly profession. Most of us are in our late 40s, early 50s, or late 50s, and there's a big gap, and we are going to be faced with retirements in the next 10 years, and there's going to be a huge need. To me, this is an excellent profession for someone to get into who doesn't want to be a nurse, someone who doesn't want much patient contact. We have very limited patient contact. The phlebotomy aspect, perhaps getting a throat culture from a patient. Other than that, we're in the laboratory running specimens. For the two-year MLT, the coming out of the community college, in this region, anywhere from $12 to $15 an hour starting. For the medical technologist, the pay would be a lot higher because it's a bachelor's degree. They may start out at $17 or $18 an hour and then advance depending on their number of years of experience. If, you're, if your high school offers uh, anatomy and physiology class, I would definitely recommend that, if not a biology class. Um, chemistry, 
because um, a lot of people have a lot of problems with chemistry. So uh, a chemistry class I would definitely recommend, and if your school's fortunate enough to have it, a medical terminology class. Students should have a background in biological sciences, basic biology, chemistry, certainly any math they can get, algebra, um, if they are into geometry and calculus, those classes, physics as well, those all help prepare the student for this profession. Don't just come into the program thinking it's going to be easy. It is a lot of work, but I think it'll be very rewarding in the future. Additional information about Tech Prep and the Associate of Applied Science degree in Medical Laboratory Technology can be found on our website.